In this uh, video clip I'm going to introduce utility theory and in the concepts of total utility, marginal utility and then a very important law, the law of diminishing marginal utility. So firstly let's look at the concept of utility. What is utility? Utility is simply the measure of uh, the satisfaction, happiness or benefit uh, that results from the consumption of a good. So um, when you consume a good, drink a cup of coffee or a glass of water, you get satisfaction out of that. So that is what utility is, uh, the measure uh, that is being used to gain the satisfaction or the happiness or the benefit that you gain from consuming a good. Now, two important terms are, are very, uh, concepts are very important here. The concepts of total utility and the concept of marginal utility. So firstly, let's look at total utility. What is total utility, which is TU? Um, and you, you can look there. Um, total utility is, is what? Is the total satisfaction a person uh, receives from consuming a particular quantity of a good. Now, before we can continue um, this, um, you know, we are busy with utility theory. And uh, utility theory use uh, a measurement, what we call utils. Uh, and this is according to, uh, you know, what we call the, the, um, the cardinal approach to utility theory, is that the assumption is that we can some, uh, somehow measure utility. Like, for example, you can measure, uh, you know, in kilograms or liters or whatever. So. Uh, the artificial construct that uh, economists then use to measure how much utility you get is what we call uh, utils. And you can see there on the slide as well, a util is an artificial construct used to measure utility. So we will refer to utils, although we know utility is a subjective approach. You cannot measure it, but this is theory, uh, because utility differs from person to person. Uh, uh, a stethoscope will have higher utility for a doctor, but zero utility for, my, for myself or for you. Uh, in some places, a jacket will have higher utility than in, in uh, areas which is very warm. Uh, and so uh, utility is a subject of, it differs from person to person, from place to place, from time to time. During the summer, utility, uh, you know, some like a heater has no utility or uh, less utility than during the winter. So utility is a subject of approach, so what economists then use is uh, the artificial construct utils to say, okay, if you consume one uh, product or one unit of a product, it might give you 20 utils. The second product might give you 18 utils, etc. Okay, so just remember that. Then the concept of total utility. What is total utility? If you look at the slide there, uh, total utility is the total satisfaction a person receives from consuming a particular quantity of a good. So if you consume, say for example, uh, good X or good Y or a, a can of Coke, that is the total satisfaction that you receive by consuming a particular quantity of, of a good. And we will later, uh, uh, you know, uh, explain that by making use of a table. So the concept is very important. What is total utility? And from, from this, basically, we can also say at the beginning, uh, this chapter deals with the theory of consumer choice. And consumers always want to maximize total utility. They want to maximize the satisfaction that they gain by uh, consuming a particular good. That is the ideal, although we, uh, we know that we cannot reach that uh, maximum total utility. Uh, then another important concept is margin utility, MU. Now, this is the first time that you are encountering a marginal concept in economics. Now, marginal concepts in economics is very important because marginal, the term marginal means additional. Additional. So it doesn't matter if you talk about marginal utility or later marginal cost or marginal revenue, it means additional. So what is uh, marginal utility? Marginal utility is actually the additional utility that a person uh, receives from consuming an additional unit of a particular good. So if you uh, eat the first apple, it will give you maybe, say, 20 utils. The second apple will give you 18 utils, right? So it's the additional utility that you gain by uh, eating a second apple or a third apple. So that is what we mean by marginal utility, is the additional utility that you gain 
by consuming equal successive units of a product. So you eat uh, or you eat one hamburger, then the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. Or you watch uh, one DVD, the second DVD, so it's equal successive units of a product that you consume. So the marginal utility will be the additional utility that you gain by you know, eating uh, an additional hamburger or watching an additional uh, DVD. So these are important concepts in terms of utility theory. Uh, so what we're going to look at, and you will also find it uh, uh, there, is that um, we will then use a table and explain the concepts of total utility, marginal utility, and what we say, the law of diminishing marginal utility. Right? So you, we will go to that uh, uh, table that is also there in your textbook, and you will see there the number of units, uh, the number of apples consumed is in the first column, then the total utility in terms of utils is measured in the second column, and then in the third column is your MU. So basically that is your, your three columns that you use to explain basically what we're going to explain is uh, that is the number of units, this is your total utility, and this is your marginal utility. So we get three apples, one, two, three, and then we say the total utility for the first apple that is in utils is measured in utils. It's uh, 10, 10 utils. If you eat the first apple, uh, this is the apples, the example that they use. It can be any product. Uh, so the first apple gives you the total sa satisfaction that you gain is 10 utils. Now, what is then the marginal utility of that first apple? Remember, if you eat zero, there's no total utility and no marginal utility. So what is the marginal utility of the, uh, of the first uh, apple? Now, there is a formula that you can also use, and you can, if you look at in your textbook, what is the marginal utility is basically, uh, you know, the total utility divided by the number of, of units, right? So if you go back to the table there, uh, what is then the marginal utility of the first apple? Now, how do you calculate that? Basically, your MU, there's a formula, MU, marginal utility is equal to your total utility, but that is a change. You use a triangle. The change in total utility divided by the change in the quantity. So, this is how you calculate the marginal utility. Now, let's do it according to this formula. Um, there's the first uh, apple, the total utility is 10. So what is the change in total utility for the first apple? Uh, by using this formula, so what we say MU is the change in total utility is 10. Because if you eat zero, there's nothing. If you eat one, there's 10. So the change in TU, it's 10. And then what is the change in quantity? There was zero, and now you eat one. So what is the change in quantity? That is the number of apples. It's one. So what is the marginal utility for the first apple? It's equal 10 divided by 1 gives you 10. So that is MU, it's 10. Okay? Now, you don't only want to eat maybe one apple, you want to eat, uh, consume another apple, right? So... Uh, what happens then with your, the utils that you gain by eating the second apple? It will increase from 10 to 19. Okay? Now, all of this are hypothetical figures. You can use any figures, right? This is just, uh, the example that we've taken from the textbook there. So, what is your additional? If you go back to uh, uh, the uh, concept of MU, what, what do we mean by MU? MU is the, MU is the additional, just to remind you, MU is the additional utility that you gain by consuming equal successive units of apples in this case. So how do we calculate then the MU of the second apple? Again, you use the same formula. Uh, what is the change in TU? The change in TU uh, from the first uh, to the second apple is what? It's 10 from uh, 10 to 19 gives you 9. And what is the change in quantity? It will always be one, because equal successive units of apples that you consume. So you will move from one to two, from two to three, all the time. So divided by the change in quantity is one. So what is, the, uh, what is your MU for the second? Uh, it's nine. Okay? 
And then if you look at the third uh, apple that you consume, what is the total satisfaction that you gain by consuming the, uh, the, the third apple? In terms of this example, it increases from 19 to 27. So uh, the total satisfaction, the total utility for three apples is 27. So what is the MU of the third apple? Again, the same formula. MU is equal to the change in TU divided by the change in quantity. So that is for the first, this is for the th uh, second, and let's look at the third. So what is the change in uh, the MU, the MU, uh, the change in total utility from 19 to 27? That gives you 8. And then every time the quantity changes by 1. So what is the MU for the third apple? It's 8. So yeah, so well, you can go on to the fourth apple, the fifth apple, the sixth apple, uh, etc. So you will see the um, total utility is increasing uh, as you consume more of an article. But what do you see in terms of your MU? MU as more uh, of a, a product or a, a good is consumed equals successive units of a product. Then what happens with your margin utility? Your margin utility will decline. It will decrease and in fact it will become zero and also negative. Uh, negative uh, utility means disutility. Uh, and what is disutility? I'm just looking at this concept because it's not discussed there in your textbook. Disutility means uh, there is negative. So utility can become negative. That means, say for example, if you watch DVDs, the first DVD you will still be awake. The second DVD you will still be awake. It depends on what type of DVD it is. The third one, maybe. But from the fourth, fifth one, you might fall asleep. So then it doesn't have any utility for you. Then uh, this utility is being experienced. So that means negative. So utility can be uh, positive, uh, as we see there in the, in the table. Uh, at the beginning, it will uh, yeah, be positive and then as you consume more apples, what happens with your uh, margin utility? Your margin utility will decrease. Now, going back to the table, this, this column is very important here because it shows you that as you consume uh, successive units of a product, equal successive units of a, of a product, margin utility will decline. Now, there's a special law uh, for this, right? And you can also see if you go further, uh, margin utility can become a zero and total utility. So that is where we started, basically, um, zero. And then you can go on to number four if you, if you look at the table. So if there's zero uh, units of good uh, X, or then basically uh, total utility is zero and margin utility, there is no margin utility because it's additional utility. So if you look at this table, which is different from your first table of the apples, uh, it's uh, good X, units of good X, right? So um, they are, when it's zero, it means total utility is zero, margin utility uh, doesn't exist. When we consume the first unit of good X, total utility increases to 10, and then the margin utility, if you use that, uh, that uh, formula, MU, change in TU divided by the change in the quantity, then you will get uh, for the first uh, um, unit of good X, you will get margin utility equal to 10 because then it will be 10 divided by 1 is equal to 10. So the first one and then the second one, the second unit of good X, 10 to 19 gives you 9 divided by 1, it gives you 9. And so you go on. Right, so what do you see? We have calculated now the margin utility uh, for every unit of good X and it can go on to five units and all of that and basically what you see here is that the margin utility is always declining and it can become zero and then it can also become negative right which is not shown in the in the slide but it can become zero at some point uh, it will be zero and then it will become negative now before we can um, uh, you know express the law of diminishing mass utility. What is important is, is the question uh, is that total utility can increase, total utility can increase and you see there, total utility can increase while margin utility decreases and you can see the total utility increases from 10 
to 19, to 27, 34, 40, as you consume equal successive units of good X. But what do you see with, uh, happening with MU? MU is declining as you consume more of good X. So the question is, yes, this can happen, right? And we will see later in terms of the diagrams. Uh, total utility will increase as you consume more of a, of a product, equal successive units, and then on, at the same time, MU is declining as you consume equal successive units of a good. And at some point, total utility will reach a maximum. Now, when total utility is a maximum, then marginal utility is zero. When total utility starts to decline, then marginal utility becomes negative. Now, this is not in the slide, but I'm just mentioning that to you. Uh, what is important coming out of the slide is uh, what we call the law of diminishing marginal utility. So what is this law of diminishing marginal utility? If we go back to the slide there, uh, basically what does this law say? Is that the marginal utility gained by consuming equal successive units of a good will decline as the amount consumed increases. So we've seen it in the table. As we consume equal uh, successive units of a good, what happened with uh, marginal utility? What happened with the ME of apples of good X? You see it in the table there, uh, it declined. You see it there in terms of apples, and you also see it there in terms of good X. Uh, so it's very important that you are able to, to uh, define the law of diminishing marginal utility based on uh, total utility and mass utility or utility theory is that uh, as you consume equal successive units of a good, the uh, mass utility will decline. So it's also there in your textbook. Uh, so it's very important that you know what the law of diminishing mass utility is. Then maybe just to, uh, you know, to illustrate it by may making use of diagrams here, if you look at your total utility curve in uh, that diagram, uh, we measure total utility on the vertical axis and we measure the quantity of good X on the horizontal axis. Now you will see, if you plot your TU curve, it will start from zero because when you consume zero uh, uh, of good X, the total utility will also be zero. So. What you will see is, is that if you, I'm not going to plot it now, but I just want to, to illustrate the shape of this curve is that total utility will increase as you consume uh, one, two, three, uh, four units of good X up to five units. You will see total utility will increase. Now, what is not shown in this figure, when uh, a certain amount of good X are consumed, then total utility will reach a maximum and uh, then it will start to decline. Then this utility comes into play when total utility start to decline. Okay, so that is the shape of your total utility curve. How does your MU curve looks like? This is MU being measured on the vertical axis, zero, and this is the quantity of good X. Now the mass utility will uh, not be upward sloping, it will be downward sloping. So as we start off from uh, the first, the second, the third, and the fourth uh, uh, quantity of good X, that is number one, two, three, four, and five, what happens with your total, uh, your marginal utility? It declines from 10 uh, to 9 uh, to 8 uh, to 7 and to 6. So when it's 8, it's 10. When it's, uh, oh, sorry, when it's 2, it's 9. When it's 3, it's 8. And 4, it's 7. Uh, 5, it's 6. So what do you see uh, if we look at the shape here? Basically, you can see the points is not 100%, uh, but uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, basically, what is important is that your mass utility curve is downward sloping. So it means that it's illustrating the law of diminishing mass utility. As you consume more of a product, uh, the equal successive units of a product, the marginal utility will decline. And you will see later on, uh, it's not illustrated in this diagram, but it will then become zero when TU is maximum. And then when TU starts to decline, what will happen with marginal utility? It will be on, uh, you know, below the horizontal axis, it will become negative. So yeah, this is uh, total utility, the concept of total utility the concept of marginal utility and the law of diminishing marginal utility. So this is very important uh, in terms of utility theory. 
and the law of diminishing marginal utility. So to summarize, the summary, uh, basically what we have done now, uh, you know, in terms of this video clip, is we looked at the concepts of total utility, which is a total satisfaction of, uh, that you uh, consume again by uh, consuming a particular good. And then what is MU, marginal utility, is the additional utility that you gain by uh, consuming uh, you know, equal or additional uh, units of a good. And then we have explained the law of diminishing marginal utility, which illustrates what um, is the additional utility or basic what happens with the additional utility. The additional marginal utility is declining as you consume additional units of a good. Or uh, the correct definition or 100% is that uh, the marginal utility of additional units of equal successive units of a good are declining as you consume uh, more of that good. So yeah, this is the introduction to this chapter, uh, basically the concepts of total utility, uh, marginal utility, and then from, from that we derive this law, the law of diminishing marginal, marginal utility. And basically, what I can ask you maybe in a test or in the exam is to calculate maybe missing value. So uh, I will refer you to, uh, you know, the exercise there in your textbook, uh, working with numbers and, and uh, diagrams, where you have to calculate uh, total utility sometimes or marginal utility, and you have to be able to, to do that. Uh, so maybe we can have a look at uh, that example there. Um, uh, in terms of, or you can maybe work it on your own, uh, and because uh, we, we're running out of time. So just look at uh, question two, working with numbers and, and graphs to calculate TU and MU in terms of a table. Thank you.